on what's real and what's fake news. Like, for example, the hashtag Boycott Hyatt. All right, people sharing this say they are boycotting Hyatt hotels because of a post going around that Hyatt doesn't want conservatives staying at their hotels. So we got answers. We tracked down the origin of this viral rumor. A letter posted by a pro-Trump advocacy group called Act for America saying Hyatt's decision to ban hate groups from their hotels is in reality a decision banning patriot-loving, flag-waving American conservatives. But we found out what Hyatt CEO Mark Hoplamazian said on September 27th at a global forum event about changes that the hotel chain had initiated. If a group is primarily focused on disparaging another group by virtue of their identity, by virtue of their immutable characteristics, whether that's your sexual orientation or your, or your, or your race or your religion, um, that's really where we need to draw the line. So they're basically banning hate groups. So we can verify this viral rumor is false. Hyatt Hotels has not outright banned conservatives from their properties. And in fact, a conservative values group, the American Legislative Executive Council, is hosting a policy summit at a Hyatt Hotel this November here in D.C. Our Verify front desk is always open for you to check in. We'll take your questions anytime and let you check out with the verified truth. I'm on Facebook and Twitter at Adam Longo TV. You can also email the research team, verify at WSA9.com. So as you get up tomorrow, you head outside in a hoodie, a sweater, a light jacket. You're thinking it's feeling like fall, and, and now you want to see some fall. We do. We have to be patient in the metro area, but if you want to go someplace cool, not too far from here, Garrett County, just 120 miles from here, two and a half hours, they have pretty much peak color right now and a big Autumn Glory Festival. It's their 51st Autumn Glory Festival, so it's kind of cool. Not much around the metro area. Pretty good color, though, around Front Royal and Luray, and then near peak out toward Oakland and down toward Davis, uh, West Virginia. Remember, we don't peak in the northern or western suburbs until the last week this month. We don't peak downtown and points east until the first week in November, so we still got some time to go. Okay, Rutgers in town. Should be a win, right, Adam? Yeah. It should be a win, okay. Adam's guaranteeing a win. 55, rather chilly, partly cloudy. If you're tailgating early, you could see a shower as hanging on as late as 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll be dry for the Burgundy and Gold. We're looking at temperatures struggling to get to 60 again. Good news is it will not be breezy. Temperatures in the 50s to around 61 by 3 o'clock. And remember, if you get to FedEx at 9, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, it'll be in the upper 40s. <laughs> Pretty chilly. Okay, let's talk about temperatures right now. This is as cool as it's been really this, this season. 48 already in Gaithersburg, 49 in Culpeper, 47 in Winchester, even 55 downtown. Tomorrow, only in the 50s. Maybe, a, again, a leftover shower at 9 o'clock. And then decreasing clouds, 59 at noon and 53 at 5 o'clock. So we struggle to get to 60 uh, tomorrow. Temperatures, here we go, 62 downtown, 64 on Sunday, up to 70 briefly, briefly on Monday. And then we cool down again, mid-60s on Tuesday and around 60 on Wednesday. In fact, Wednesday is going to be uh, our coldest uh, air mass. That could be a little bit of a frost north and west of town Wednesday night. But in the meantime, early morning shower possible, then rather brisk for the Terps. And again, it will remain breezy uh, tomorrow morning. But the weekend generally, cool days, chilly nights, some 30s. And then milder with more showers on Monday. That will be our next possible, possible uh, yellow weather alert. 7 o'clock in the morning, future cats going hog wild here with a lot of showers. Generally light. Look at the temps. 48 in Gaithersburg, 49 in Manassas, 53 downtown. That's just chilly. Uh, 8 o'clock, upper 40s still, some leftover showers. And then by 10 o'clock, everything's gone. Certainly east of College Park by 10 o'clock. Look at to Oakland, only 38 degrees at 10 o'clock. And then lots of sunshine in the afternoon, but temps don't go up much. Upper 50s, maybe near 60 downtown, maybe near 60 in Fredericksburg. By 6 o'clock tomorrow, we're generally clear. But again, a pretty good northwest flow, so kind of breezy all day. And then tomorrow night, if it's date night, after you do dinner and a movie, it's going to be in the 40s in the burbs, headed for the 30s. So. Here we go. We're dry on Sunday. Again, early morning shower on Saturday and maybe some showers on Monday, 70. Briefly warmer. We'll, uh, we'll monitor that for a yellow weather alert. And then only 64 Tuesday and low 60s Wednesday, Thursday. Back to the mid 60s on Friday. And it will be also nice for DC United on Saturday. Felt good out there tonight. Mm. Taking a high school football game. There's a big one. 1v2 in high school football. Yeah, that's right. St. John's. Good counsel.